everyone, welcome back to the English web. Uh, before I start uh, with what I'm going to teach today, uh, I would like to apologize for not uploading videos regularly. Now I know I promised uh, in my earlier video that I would be uploading a video every Saturday but I, I haven't been able to do that because I've been tied up with a lot of uh, other things like college assignments and uh, I've also been traveling so that's the reason I've not been able to upload videos regularly. But I promise you guys that I'll try and upload videos as regularly as possible. So in today's video, I will be talking about what are nouns and the different types of nouns. Now, most of you all would be knowing that of all parts of speech, nouns are perhaps the most important. Now, what are nouns? Uh, a noun is a word that uh, talks about a person, place, animal, thing or an idea. Like I mentioned here, it's a word that identifies a person, place, animal, thing or an idea. So there are various types of nouns that uh, I'm sure most of you all would have heard of. Now I have categorized uh, nouns into uh, nine various uh, categories. So today in today's video I'm going to talk about four types of nouns. One is proper noun, second is common noun, third is material noun and the fourth one is compound noun. Now, the first one is a proper noun. Now, what is a proper noun? A proper noun is a word that talks, that again talks about a person, place, animal, thing or an idea specifically. Uh, so, it gives an identity to, uh, uh, to something. So, if I have to give an example, my pet dog's name is Lucky. So, over here, the proper noun is Lucky because I have given an identity to my pet dog because of which lucky becomes a proper noun. Uh, another example would be uh, India is a densely populated country. Now again, I am specifically talking about India and not just any country. So when I am giving an identity to a country, when I am talking about India, India becomes a proper noun. So I'm sure by now you all would have understood what a proper noun is supposed to be. Anything and everything that has a unique distinct identity is a proper noun. Uh, the second one would be a common noun. Now a common noun is something, uh, it's again a word that uh, that does not have a specific entity or it is, uh, it is something that is not categorized. Now for example, taking the previous example itself, my pet dog's name is Lucky. On one hand where Lucky is a proper noun, dog is a common noun because here I'm not specifying which dog I'm talking about. So the common noun here is dog because there is no specification involved here. Uh, it's just a random category that I am talking about. Uh, another example again, uh, India is a densely populated country. Now on one hand where India is proper noun, country uh, becomes a common noun because here I am not specifying which country I am talking about. I'm just talking about one particular category which is country. So that becomes a common noun. Uh, the third type of uh, noun is uh, material noun. Now material noun is uh, again a word that uh, talks about a certain kind of material that a certain, uh, certain things or substances are made from. Now again giving you an example here, uh, I could say I love wearing cotton dresses. Uh, so here when I'm talking about cotton dresses, cotton becomes an adjective. I am not talking about cotton specifically. But when I'm referring to material noun, I would say that uh, the, the crop grown in this particular region is cotton. Or cotton is very, very, uh, you know, it is, it is largely grown in this village. So here cotton isn't an adjective, here it is this material that I'm talking about. So in this statement, cotton is largely grown, cotton becomes a material noun. So I hope you all get a fair idea about what a material noun is. And the fourth one and the last one uh, in today's video that, uh, that I'll be talking about is uh, a compound noun. Now a compound noun is a word that is, uh, that is maybe, you, it's two words basically that you connect, you know, to form a single noun. Now those two words could be either hyphenated words like anti-social where you use a hyphen in between anti and social or daughter-in-law for that matter where you use hyphens between uh, daughter uh, and in and in and law. So there are two hyphens that I've used over here. 
or it could be that or it could be uh, just two words you know connected together like toothpaste or softball for that matter or two different words that are closely related by meaning like for example post office or lower class so it's basically a combination of two words that just that are joined together to form a noun so yeah for today's video these are the four nouns that i have covered in my next video i shall be talking about what is a, compa uh, a countable noun uncountable or mass noun collective noun abstract noun and concrete noun so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, share and subscribe to my channel. I shall see you guys soon. Bye.